Hi, today I want to show you how easy is it to actually flash an ESP8266-01 module. So as you can see here, um, this is, uh, I have a ESP8266-01 module. It has an SOC ESP8266 chip Wi-Fi module from the Espressif. And this is the AI Thinker vendor that actually, you know, designed this module. And you can also see there is a uh, a one one megabyte uh, SPI flash memory. Normally, you know, the first version had 512 KB, but this is an enhanced version. It's pretty pretty stable compared to the original one. So, you know, if you are looking for one, make sure you have um, you know the one megabyte flash version, so that um, they're also called as a black version. So, you know, uh, so that you have the most latest version of ESP8266-01. So within this uh, ESP8266 module, you have you have these uh, header, um, you know, male header pins of eight, you know, so you can which also connected to these eight pins on the, um, you know, on this module. So the first one is a VCC, you know, for the 3.3 voltage input, and the the second one is the, you know, ch the reset pin and the chip enable pin, and the and the fourth one is the, the TX. Uh, pin uh, and and the RX pin here. These two act as a for you know TX and RX pin for the U when chip is put in the UART mode. Uh, and this one is a GPIO zero and GPIO two, a general purpose input and output programming. Um, and this the GPIO zero should normally put to ground when you're actually flashing this. And uh, this is the ground pin. So you can also use this uh, TX and RX pin also as a GPI mode. You have to just change the pin mode when you're actually programming them. So the problem with this module is that uh, this is not really a breadboard friendly. So if you can see here, if I mount this on a breadboard, you can see I may not be able to reach these uh, bottom four pins here, uh, you know, to be able to like, you know, interface this with another, any other, uh, with any other circuit uh, it, within my, you know, prototyping. So this makes it difficult to flash it on pro and prototyping it, you know, so, uh, you know, and people actually use, you know, breadboard wires, you know, some kind of adapters, but, uh, you know, if you're just getting started and just wanted to learn the ESP8266 module, I think the better and the most easiest way to go is to actually use a USB flasher. Uh, today I want to show one of them. Um, this is one of the USB flasher I just bought online um, from the Chinese, you know, uh, uh, e-commerce website AliExpress. So this has a, a male hair and a female header, you know, slots that actually go in hand with the ESP8266-01 module. So you can see here, and uh, this also has a a, a, slide, a switch that allows you to switch between the programming uh, uh, and the UART mode. So programming is when you want to flash it and UART mode is when you want to have it communicated with your computer or any other circuit, uh, you know, um, it's just in general to have it, you know, using the UART protocol. So it, this also has a FTDI chip. Um, it allows you to communicate between the ESP8266, the serial converter for your computer, um, and in the USB that you can actually, you know, put it in the USB, you know, slot of your machine. Um, so this one is actually available on sale on AliExpress. You can get it for about three dollars. Uh, with shipping, it will be about like four dollars and sixty-five cents. I think um, you know this is the best investment you can make to actually allow you to learn easily for the ESP8266 module. Um, so uh, let me show you how the, how this actually works. The first thing you need is the Arduino software, uh, which I just already downloaded it and I had installed it. So let me launch the Arduino IDE. So, you know, within the, uh, once you have the Arduino IDE launched, the first thing we want to make sure is they have uh, the proper board manager installed. So to do that, you need to first have the board manager URL. Uh, you can get this from the, um, you know, ESP8266 Arduino GitHub page. I'll post this link in the description section. So, uh, may, you know, once you have this link and, uh, you know, and go to the Arduino IDE and go to preferences, and uh, make sure you paste this in the additional board manager URL and also click OK. Uh, and then go to the, you know, board manager and uh, just wait for it to refresh. And then you can search for the ESP8266. So, you know, this is the board manager in dev developed by the community. So you are free to install this. And the, the, the latest version is 2.3.0. So I'm going to go ahead and install this board manager. So this might take about a minute or so. Um, 
So while we install the board manager, uh, one thing I would say, you know, is that, you know, this is very, you know, if you are planning to actually work with, you know, a prototyping ESP module, ESP 82661 module, this is, comes in very handy. You can literally use it as a USB flasher and just carry it with you without no bread wires or anything all the time. So you can, you know, you can carry it wherever you are and uh, that's that's going to make a lot of things easier without any breadboard wires or any other, any kind of adapters. So the ESP8266 board manager is installed. Um, let me go ahead and, uh, and, and uh, make sure. So, uh, so before we, you know, set it to programming, you know, we want to make sure that switch is set on to the programming mode. Uh, basically, it grounds the GPIO zero uh, pin, um, and that's when actually it, it actually forces it to go to the programming mode when it boots up. So let me go ahead and insert and, and insert this into the USB, and uh, make sure uh, this uh, you you have it detected in your on your computer. So if you go to the device manager. And you should be able to see under the COM ports, uh, the USB serial CH340, and it's detected under COM number four. So that that, that way you are you know you are making sure that your ESP8266 is detected properly, and and also make sure that the proper driver is also also been installed. If it's Windows 10, normally it automatically installs. If you're on an older version of Windows, you maybe have to actually download this one from online. You should be able to get it by just Googling it. So we now have the you know ESP8266 detected uh, let's go ahead and just have a simple demo program fla and flash the chip um, so let's make sure we select the proper board so within the board manager you will be getting all these additional boards that are based on the ESP8266 module so these are all the different development boards that other vendors and manufacturers are making so the, the one we are going to go with is the generic ESP8266 module um, and then make sure you have the proper flash selection. Like I mentioned before, this has about one megabyte. So make sure we have that selected and also make sure the COM port is properly selected. So uh, let's write a simple program here um, and uh, have A classic uh, hello world and uh, um, let's go ahead and upload this to the you know if you want to validate just verify the script um, you know make sure it compiles correctly without any you know syntax errors so it's now compiled let's go ahead and upload this So the upload process is basically, you know, the ESP8266 board manager compiles this program and creates a bin file, you know, that gets uploaded to the, you know, flash memory at this address. Uh, and this normally takes about, you know, five to 10 seconds. Uh, normally it should be pretty quickly. Okay. So now the flashing is completed. Let's go ahead and open a serial monitor and uh, make sure the serial monitor has a baud rate as uh, same as what you have actually enabled the you know chip to communicate with your with the, with the within the UART protocol. So you can see here the hello world is being printed from the ESP mo ESP8266 module onto the serial interface of your computer. So that's how easy it is actually to flash this thing. So make sure you look you look this up and actually you know try, you know you know if you are trying to learn ESP8266 or Wi-Fi you know the module and programming it and this is actually the best and easiest way to do it uh, although I would say I found out one issue with this is that um, you know when you are tr when you when you there is no reset button here as you can see so when you have to actually reset this thing you either have to unplug this ESP8266 module or you either you have to you know unplug the, the whole module within the uh, with the flash uh, flasher itself and plug it back so that's the way to hard reset the chip there is no reset button on here so that's actually one uh, issue I would say but um, it's not a big deal though so um, you know um, we should be you know if I if we should be able to hack this uh, driver uh, flash uh, 
flasher have an additional chip here and have it grounded you know have the reset pin um, you know grounded if you have to reset this chip um, through the device itself so that's how easy it is to actually flash it so thank you